Hi, my name is James Stewart. I'm the Assistant Director for Student Technology Services in the EdTech Department. Hi, my name is Rose Tarada, and I am the Assistant Director of Teaching, Learning, and Technology Innovation at EdTech. The way my department provides support to students, specifically first-year students, is with technology services on campus. So our group provides support with all technology. Um, my group specifically provides uh, support through our student tech support desk and the computer repair center. We have open access computer labs on campus. We have printing services. Uh, it's important that students understand that these services are all available to them. Our department supports students in all of their technology needs across the board. If students have specific questions about software, they would come directly to the department that I manage. We help students with any software requests, um, any training requests with that software. So if a student wants to learn WordPress for their own personal knowledge, they could do so. If students want to need to learn it for their class, they can do that as well. Um, we also have access to Microsoft Office certification exam vouchers for students. So if they want to learn any of the Office products, we have on-demand on training materials and we can also schedule one-on-ones with them and they can come and get certified if they want to take the certification exam. The students have access to a number of compu open, compu open access computer labs on campus. The Calkins Lab located in 106 Calkins Hall. Uh, the Hammer Lab which is located in uh, 125 Axon Library which is across from the main entrance to the library. Both labs have both Mac and PCs. They have document scanners, a copier, and multiple printers, both color and black and white, that they can access. The Hammer Lab specifically is open to the students 24-7, 365 days of the year. The Student Tech Support Center, which is located in the back of Hammer Lab, is available to students between 8 a.m. and midnight, seven days a week during the fall and spring semester. Uh, during the January and summer sessions, we've, we've got reduced hours, but we're still open quite a few hours each week. Um, the Repair Center, which provides students with a wide variety of services, they can get their Apple computer uh, repaired under warranty, or if the machine is out of warranty, any brand computer can be repaired at the Computer Repair Center with very reasonable prices. Um, we provide free diagnostics through the Repair Center, which is a very valuable service. Um, you'll take a look at the computer, determine what's wrong, and let the student know what it would cost if they wanted to get it repaired with us. One of the questions that we get quite frequently from parents is, should I send my son or daughter to the university with a printer? And uh, we, we want to make sure that they understand that that's not necessary. The university does provide printing services. Students are pr provided with 120 print credits each year. That's the equivalent of 1,200 black and white pages, either single-sided or double-sided. Uh, they can use those credits towards printing or copying. There are over 50 printers or print release stations on campus located in over 30 buildings. Um, students can print from their personal device or their mobile device and the document will stay in the, the cloud for up to 12 hours and they can release those documents on any one of the printers on campus within the 12 hours. Uh, after 12 hours the documents uh, are deleted and they aren't charged for those. But uh, it is a great service, the students enjoy it. Um, there are printers located in residence halls and the academic buildings. Another question that we get quite frequently is, what type of computer should I send my son or daughter to school with? Um, Apple or Windows? Um, really there is no specific requirement for students. We find students in all different areas of the university with, with both Mac and Windows computers. Um, we do recommend that if a uh, student's going into an area such as music or fine arts, that they, they check with the department to see if there's any recommendation. Again, we have students in all departments with all types of computers, and, and they're able to get their work done, but in some cases the department may say, well, we prefer one, one over the other. Um, so it is, it's never a bad idea to contact the department in those cases if the student knows what they're majoring in. You should definitely tell your students to come visit us early and visit us often. We're located in Calkins Lab. Um, students can not only get software support, but we have virtual reality that they can test out. We have 3D printing that they could get stuff printed. Um, we have a whole lab that's really nice that they can come visit, and we definitely want to see them. We also have annual events about security, and we have an event called Maker Park, which we have annually. The students can come to and test out virtual reality, do some, you know, see some high-tech and low-tech stuff, 
and uh, you know it, it's just a lot of fun. So we definitely want students to get involved with us. My advice to you as parents is not to buy Microsoft Office. If you're to buy your son or daughter a computer this, this year, uh, don't buy Office. Students are eligible for a free Microsoft Office subscription. Uh, they can activate that anytime after they're accepted and they can do that through the Hofter portal. They can activate their Microsoft Office 365 subscription and download Microsoft Office to their computer. We encourage students that if they run into any difficulties to contact us with that, uh, with that process. Um, Another thing that I'd like to make sure that students know is that they have a, micro, uh, a university Google account and that gives them a Hofstra Pride Gmail account uh, or a Hofstra Pride email account and they also have access to Google Drive which gives them uh, access to unlimited cloud storage. We want them to back up their data, their important data. It's important that they understand that they get to keep that account once they graduate. The way to get in touch with our department is to email us at studenthelp at hofstra.edu or call our main help desk number which is 516-463-7777.